So guys, you're up this close because we're going to do the eye makeup first, which is something that I want to do, but I need to put something over my lid. My eyes are like really thingy, but these are my eyes. They don't look red, they look really beige, but it's because all of them are veins. I got veiny eyelids, so yeah. It doesn't matter if you have veiny eyelids or not, it doesn't matter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some concealer just to go over my eyes and then powder them, and then I've got the, the base done. It's a pretty big sponge. Hmm, it looks like it takes up the majority of the product, which I actually don't want. I'm going to go in with a brush instead because that's not going to take up the majority of the product. Mm, there we go, much better. But yeah, I'm going to use the Jaclyn Hill palette today. I know that I didn't use it for a while, but I just want to go back to it, you know, just because I want to create a nice eye look for you guys, which is like bold. And do I care if the colours clash? No, because in the... On YouTube right now, it's all just about that drama. I'm just going to use some powder just to go on my lids, you know. I'm just going to use some tape. It's been a while since I've used some tape, so I'm going to use some tape. Because I feel like I'm, you know, I feel like I want to use some tape, you know. I've just kind of, like, put it out to there for a minute so it could be winged out if I want to do a winged out look. I don't know what I want to do today, so I'm just going to mix a bunch of colours. So now I'm going to use a colour. I'm just going to use a transition kind colour. And just shaking, as I said, I'm just taking the Jack and Hill palette. I love using this. I'm going to take the shade. I might just take the straight silk cream just to go all over the, just to, you know, start into the crease and then build it up from there. I'm not quite sure what look I want to go for, but I know I'm going to go for something bold and sexy. So what should I do? I'm going to go, actually, I'm going to go with the orange. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with creamsicle because I want the orange. I want that orange transition. It's all about clashing colours today. I'm um, just creating a look to be clashing colours because when you get drama on the YouTube channel, everyone goes for it and it's literally like all the people that are on YouTube I want to get involved in all the drama and everything and send nasty things to people. So there's a lot of drama. There was a lot of drama doing James Charles, Tatty and Jeffree Star and I got, got sick of it. I thought to myself, why is people got helping up on the drama? And I saw people that don't um, talk about drama. I don't mind drama channels. I watch drama channels. I think they're all right. I think it's it, they're informative what they do do what they do. But there's some people that don't have drama channels that just have vlog channels, and they do a live subscription count to get the subscribers up. It's like, oh my god, this is a big thing. If I put my channel to the live subscription count thing, I'm gonna get my channel up and I'm gonna have more subscribers. I'm not that kind of person. I do not feed off the drama. I, I know people might go, well, you're a bit contradicting on your channel because you're talking about it on your channel. Well, I'm just expressing my opinions. These are my own opinions. And I am kind of sick of everyone just getting on the bandwagon. And what got really ridiculous is when it was all going down, people were destroying their Jane Charles palette. I was, I was like, you're wasting your money. Like, I'm still going to get the James Charles palette because I find it is really nice. Yeah, I am still going to get the James Charles palette because I like the colours in there. I feel like they're really good, they're really bold statements, you know. I'm definitely not when I'm going to get that palette. I'm going to have a bold eye look and a bold statement. There we go, just put this creamsicle shade, all, creamsicle shade all in the thing. And it's very nice on orange, I do like it. It's very nice, and I actually and I actually do like it. I do have like a colour switcher, just to let you know. You can, you can buy like, I'm trying to find cheaper alternatives, but I got this in boots. So, I don't know which other colour I want to do, but I do know that I just want to have colours that transition that transition and that don't transition well basically let's switch it all up and go for the jade colour it is an aqua jade colour you might go that one guy but I'm trying a thing here that I don't care what my makeup looks like at the end of the day so I'm just going to put this in the crease a bit more just in the crease I know you might think them two don't mix but makeup is fun you have to experiment with eyeshadows I love experimenting with eyeshadows because I find it fun. And the Jaclyn Hill colours, they do blend out like a dream. It's time to go back in with the uh, first transition colour, first transition brush that I've put in. And I don't care if it don't look good, but I'm experimenting. You've got to experiment with eyeshadows. Look. Go fun with it. Don't like be like everybody else and follow a trend like smoky or brown eyes or just go with a colour that is going to be crazy. This is crazy right now. It's like an orange and jade colour. I know they don't go together, but do you know what? I'm having fun with my makeup and I want to have fun. 
I feel like the more you have fun with it, the more it's going to be good for you, you know? Just have fun with your makeup. So I'm going to take a red colour, like a deep, ready, orangey colour, and mix actually two deep colours. That's the colour that I'm using. I'm just going to put it onto my outer corner. It's, this is all about clashing colours and everything. That's all, This is what it's all about. Okay, it's made a different colour, but do you know what? I'm just experimenting, as I said, with different shades of colours. Now I'm going to go in with a colour, which, I don't know, I think I'm going to go with the shimmer colour on the lid, you know, just build up the shimmer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a purple just onto the outer corner. Do I want a purple? No. I'm going to take a dark blue onto the outer part. Uh, next to that red shade, take that blue and just okay. Looks odd, I know, but this is this video is all about clashing colours, and if you don't like it, you don't have to do this look. look. clashing colours because I feel like you need to, I feel like people need to stand up and go, we need to clash colours. Who cares about if it's not good or good? You know? Just clash colours, just do what you want. These are so pigmented. I'm going to use the, I'm going to go and do the other one off camera and then we'll be back to the eyeliner. It looks a mess, but do you know what? I don't actually give two hoots. So I'm back. Okay guys, so I've done both eyes. This eye is complete. This eye, I actually like this eye. It's bold. It's clashing colours. The colours might not all match, but it's just a bold statement. And I have done a black ring liner. So I, as you can see, there it is, the blackness. Um, it's quite sharp. I did that with powder so i took the jacqueline hill the blackest black that she has in here which is called abyss yeah we just call it abyss and i'm just gonna create a wing on my eye some black powder now i want to use liquid eyeliner but i thought no it's gonna be too messy and i want this look to be just about the eyeshadows so that's all i want it to be so this black as you can see i have got fake lashes on these lashes are from wish they're just really natural lashes which i absolutely love so now i'm just gonna do this with this so And as you can see, I'm just putting the black. As you see, I've started off with the black eyeliner, and I'm gonna wing it out. It's just gonna be really winged out and really nice, and it's just gonna be just eyeshadow because I believe I just want this look to be bold, just to have a soft got what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the tape you can see that wing there so what I'm gonna do now I'm just got my cotton pad I'm just going to I can't wipe I'm just gonna move the excess uh just move the excess from the bottom that's got on the bottom don't worry all of this is gonna match up to so we're gonna smoke out the lower lash line as well now I'm gonna put some highlighter on so my highlighter brush I'm using the Soph Does Nail I'm using Soph Does Nails palette which i absolutely love i'm going to use this onto underneath of the brow bone uh, just taking these two i've already done my brows because i did my brows on camera just to save a bit of time and what i do love about highlight is that if your eyeshadow is a bit too harsh and it's not blended out perfectly you can actually go in with some highlighter onto your brow bone and then i'm just going to take my big brush and just to blend it out so it's nice and blended so that is the eyes complete. I'm just gonna pop off camera and I'm gonna do the lashes and then I'll be right back for to complete the rest of the look. Okay, now that you're a bit zoomed out, I'm gonna do the face. So I'm gonna put a primer on. The primer I'm gonna use is the uh, Revolution Fruit Extract, which you guys know is a big favorite of mine. I do love my brows, my brows are good. Um, I just need to outline the brows before I go on with makeup. Because I did the brows, the reason I did the brows is because I 
because brows is the same. If you want to see a brow makeup routine, just let me know and I'll do that for you. Let you know what I do. Primer does get, gives you a glow, but it gives you a tacky base as well. So I'm just gonna, okay, so this is a sponge I'm using. It's just an older irritating sponge. But I'm gonna use the Maybelline. Yes, it is very dark. I don't know why this ivory shade is so dark, but I'm gonna use it today because, you know, I feel like using it today. So I'm, I'm just gonna put like a couple of squirts on a container, which I normally do. Before I do that, I, told, I said I was gonna cut out the brows, and I, I don't cut out the brows. What's wrong with me? I don't. So these brows need to be cut out before, you know, stuff goes on them. So I'm just gonna use a brush just to just get everything good and blend it out. So. I'll just like kind of brush them out quickly and now I'm going to use some pink foundation anyway back to the drama that I was talking about um so yeah everyone kind of fishes in on the drama and gets on their drama you know it goes on like my channel has nothing to do with drama but I'm going to put it out on my channel anyway because I want no subscribers and they feed our unsubscribers and people who subscribe to them want to subscribe to them because of the Tatney and Jane situation and I don't think that's right but it's what happens when people go for the drama like all they want is drama you're like okay I never based my channel around drama I never based it like I never put live subscription counts onto to my channel because I don't want to you to subscribe and then suddenly when the Jane Charles things over like get videos that you probably don't like to watch but I don't make drama channels because they are based around drama people who are not it's like you get into the action but you really don't talk about drama on your channel I'm gonna look at people doing like subscription stuff like um, drama stuff on their channel I always have to look and see what their channel is actually about because people who do that just want thingy so I always check so when they do like the count subscriber thing where you see Jeffree Star, James Charles and Tatty subscriber counts going down and then you see their own and they say like I've got over this much now I've got 16,000 subscribers because of I'm doing this thing so I feed off it and I'm like what the hell why do you feed off it why I want people to go to my channel to to, to like what they're watching and you know just to get a good feel of my channel I don't want them to watch something that they're all about the drama and they're like oh my god this piece is going to talk about so many more dramas I don't like people that do that I'm very like Stick to your own channel, you know, just stick to it. That's why it's kind of like, you know, don't think about on the drama as much. You need a big brush. I always set this foundation because I know it's a bit, um, a bit sticky in some things. And if you don't set your foundation, and if you do your contour and bronzer, you find that your contour's a little bit patchy because you're putting it onto something that is a bit tacky still. So you need to work it in there. So, oh, and then what else is going on? So yeah, then you've got Nicocado Avocado. Uh, Nicocado Avocado and, um, Trisha Paytas going into the drama. It's like, no one knew about the Trisha Paytas and then Nick Carter for Carter because people were just on to the James Charles and Tati and Jeffree Star situation. So when I heard about that, I was like, what the hell's going on? Why is all these dramas like kicking off? That's when I was like, this is really weird. There's so many drama channels just going at it. So what I'm going to use is just the Kika one. This, you can't get any more. I'm sorry about that, but I love this one. I think I'm going to get this, the uh, summer one because it's so pretty. See, look at that. It's just... A really pretty bronzer which I love and I always bronze and then the contour I used to contour first and then bronze to like my channel you know just to go on my channel and you know watch the content that I put up yes everything is involved in like viewing the community and I know it's hard for some people that are like getting into the beauty the community and it's so hard to do that but some things you know if you work hard at it and you want to do stuff with beauty go for it because I was doing this since 2013 I believe doing it for about six years this year and I just you know loved playing around with makeup I absolutely loved it and I was there like I'm not any good at makeup I don't know if I'm gonna be good at this and you know what I persevered I was like I'm gonna do this because I want to do this you know and I want to make sure that I'm good at what I do so what I did is I just carried on doing it and with each time I did my makeup my makeup got better like I've seen for the years how my makeup has gotten bad and then suddenly it's getting better and that's okay you know you stick at something hot long enough and you work at it your makeup will just be looking better each time which that's what I did I just kind of persevered I was like I'm gonna do this because I want to do this for myself 
I don't care if ha how many beauty communities, beauty communities there are. I don't care because I want to do this for myself and I know I'm going to get better. And I'm just getting better and better at what I'm doing. And I'm just loving it. You get better at something that you love and trust me, it will go a long way for you. So I'm going to just put on a California blush because I love this blush. It's so pretty. I just love it. But yeah, beside all the drama that's going on, I was like, okay, there's drama going on. And then people got really pissed at Jeffree Star because he's like, I'm going to release all the tea. And then there was a video came out going, I'm not going to say anything because I get in drama and, you know, everything like that. But do you know what? I wasn't pissed off that he'd done that. I thought that is really something to do. Like people just want the drama and just want everything. And it, people, they're going, some people don't like James Charles, some people don't like Jeffree Star, and some people don't like Tatty. And they go on their page and they leave nasty comments. And I don't agree with that. And then you get some people that leave like, can you do this video? Which is good, you know. And my highlight, I'm going to use the Sofex um, that I used on my brow bone. I love this highlighter just oh so pretty so yeah everyone's gonna hate on them leave comment nasty comments which i don't agree with i'm sorry i just don't i'm one of the people that just don't agree with that and you and do you know what i might get a lot of hate for this video like oh my god you're talking about pe the people's channel that they get into the action and everything well they do i've seen it i've watched youtube and i've seen it and people just get on board with the hype and then they just get on board like it's their problem when it's when it's not it's just they're trying to sort out something that has basically made it public because of Tatty making it public, which I do not agree with, I'm sorry, making it public to tell someone. Like, I like Tatty's channel, I really do, but I swear she knew what was going to happen if she posted that video. I just don't agree with stuff like that, I'm sorry, I don't. I know people are going to be like, oh, it's not that, you don't agree with that? <clears throat> which I don't, I don't agree with people, uh, I just... If I ever had drama, I wouldn't post it on the internet, I wouldn't. I would do it nicely and, you know do it on kind of like privately you know i wouldn't want anything to go public i just wouldn't so i'm just going to take cream school there are my eyes like i need to put some brown I've almost forgot mascara onto the bottom and now i'm gonna put on a lip because i feel like putting on lip with this it's gonna be really nice, like a nice nude. You want the eyes to be a statement of this, and I feel like that this is a statement. So, a nude. I might go with fudge, it's a dark brown. It is a dark lip, but it's clashing colors again. And now I'm just gonna put some setting spray on. Okay, so as you can see, this is the final look of my eyes. And as you can see, my eyes stand up quite a lot, which is what I was hoping for. The lips are nude and it is the Soth X in the colour Fudge, which I actually do like. The one in the downstairs and the sun kind of got on it and it kind of kind of melted, but it's in the fridge now, so it's fine. This is the eye makeup. Just very bold. Yes, it's clashing colours. Yes, it does get a little bit dark and yes, you're thinking what the hell, but clashing colours is all about drama, okay? Drama, it clashes. Clashing colours, clashes. So, I do like how I've kind of come up with this look. I feel like it's just, it's just something that I wanted to do and, you know, I just want to do it and that's it. But yeah, so yeah, that is my completed look on my face. So guys, if you did like this look of the clashing colours and a bright, bold look, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this where I just play around with the colours and release my inner artist, let me know down in the comments below. Please subscribe down below as well and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!